Chapter 52 Treating Human Lives Like Wheat Big Smart angrily pulled out the lawn saber at his waist and a ferocious or erupted, creating a circle of wind with the ability gust. The domineering Conate genuine chi poured into the saber end with a cold flash, it slashed at the axe. Crack, as soon as this majestic saber came into contact with the axe, it was shattered on the spot like rotten wood by the light emitted from the axe. The axe continued to fall. The roof of the carriage was like paper. It was easily cut open by the sharp, pen domineering force. Young master, be careful. Big Smart's palm was bleeding and he could not stop the axe from cutting down. He could only cry out a reminder. Not only did Song Shi not dodge, but his eyes also lit up. This guy is an impatient person. Has trying to kill me again so quickly. I'll guess I will just have to die again. He grinned and offered his neck. Blood splattered as his neck and the car split apart. You were killed by the Dharma artifacts, blood axe. Physique plus three. Yao have absorbed strength from death and obtained to freedom attribute points. You will be resurrected in three seconds. No resurrection location set. Resurrection on the spot by default. At the same time, dang. The side wall suddenly exploded and a large hand with a blink bronze glow stretched out. It punched Big Smart, who wanted to help and smash the opposite wall into pieces. Boom boom boom. The sound of Big Smart shattering the wall and the axe landing sounded at the same time. The former fell into it and disappeared without a trace, while the latter slashed a ten-foot deep crack in the ground. The horse screamed Dan was kicked away by the burly Tong Hu, dying on the spot. His face was filled with a ferocious aura as he laughed sinisterly. You actually use trash weapons from the mortal world to receive my Dharma artifact, blood axe. How childish. He turned around and glanced at the carriage that was split in half. A pair of legs laid weakly on the ground motionlessly. He sneered, it's your honor to die under the power of my Dharma artifacts this time. Thinking that Song Shi was dead, he strode over and grabbed the blood axe that had slashed into the ground. The runes on it lit up and the axe was pulled out of the crack. At this moment, San Shi, who was beside him, suddenly stood up. A sudden sliver of light from a sword appeared then disappeared in a flash. Tong Hu didn't expect San Shi to still be alive. From his senses, this person had died. The most terrifying thing was that the power that this person suddenly erupted with was not much. Inferior to his swoosh, there was a slight sound. A line of blood appeared on Tan Hu's neck. San Shi, who was originally dead, slashed across his neck with his sword and stood behind him. You. Tan Hu widened his eyes and wanted to turn around. Splat. Blood spurted out from a red line on his neck, turning into a bloody mist that spread. A huge head slid down and fell to the ground with a thud, rolling away. His huge body slowly fell to the ground with a plop. Blood gushed out from his neck and quickly dyed the ground red. In his left hand, a talisman was emitting light. Because it had lost the subsequent spiritual energy, it was no longer activated and slowly dimmed. At the same time, the blood axe dinned and fell back into the crack. With one foot on Tong Hu's face, Song Shi held the blood-stained gentleman's sword and looked down at Tong Hu. That's it. The latter's eyes widened, filled with shock and unwillingness. He had never expected this kid to be so powerful. If he knew, he would definitely not be so arrogant and would not attack so casually. The weakling that he thought he could easily bully was actually a ferocious wolf in disguise. The regret in Tong Hu's eyes was extinguished like a flame as he died with his eyes wide open. Ding congratulations on killing the target of death. You are rewarded with one chance to draw the lottery. After the system notification, Big Smart stepped out of the hole in the shattered wall opposite him and looked at San Shi in a daze. Young master, you killed him. Big Smart was shocked as he looked at Song Shi, who was holding a lawn sword and stepping on his head. At this moment, the big guy on the ground had defeated him with one move. But in the end, his head was cut off by the young master. Sean. With a crisp sound, the gentleman's sword returned to its sheath. This person is too careless and I caught him off guard. Coupled with the fact that my sword is very sharp, it's not strange for him to die. Song Shi calmly explained the reason. Looking at his bleeding neck, he frowned. This is the first time I've killed an immortal cultivator. It doesn't feel like much. Although they had experienced a few battles, the enemies were either zombies or evil spirits. They had never killed immortal cultivators. 
This guy died about the same way ordinary people die. When Big Smart saw that song she was very calm, the corners of his mouth twitched. My legs are trembling from when I was killed for the first time. Young master, this is not bad already. Pay attention to your surroundings. I'll collect our spoils of war. Song Shi lowered his body and pulled out the talisman in Tong Hu's hand. With a glance, he saw that it was a scribble, which exuded an inexplicable charm. Unable to understand what this was, Song Shi continued to search the headless corpse. He took out a strange beast skin bag from his waist. Other than this, there was nothing else on this person anymore. He sent his thoughts into the bag and vaguely felt that the space inside was much larger than it looked. However, it was blocked by a special force and he could not check what was inside further. Could this be the storage bag used by cultivators? Sanchi was pleasantly surprised. This was a very practical treasure. It should be a storage bag. I heard that such special Dharma artifacts can store things that are a hundred times larger than themselves. That's why it's called the Hundred Treasure Bag. Big Smart Watch enviously. Elderkin has one. He treasures it very much. Good stuff. Sanchi happily kept the storage bag and walked over to pull out the axe. He examined it carefully. The axe was red and reeked of blood. Clearly, it had killed many people. The axe was engraved with runes that flickered with a faint luster. It was obvious that it was not an ordinary item. TSK TSK. This is really a treasure to kill and commit arson. His whole get-up was a result of his thievery. He threw the axe to Big Smart. This is for you. I don't use axes. Form. Big Smart was flattered. This is too precious. I heard that the cheapest Dharma artifacts cost at least a million tails of silver. If you don't want it, just throw it away. Sanchi turned around and left. Big Smart could only accept it. He started to caress it lovingly and clearly liked it. After taking two steps, Sanchi suudenly stopped and turned to the wall that Tan Hu had broken. A couple and a child were lying on the ground. Their necks had been crushed by Tan Hu and there were still handprints left on their necks. Damn it! This Tan Hu is too bloodthirsty. Not only did he ambush me, he also attacked ordinary people. Sanchi's face darkened. Sigh. Young master, some of them treat human lives like grass and kill people as if they were chickens. Big smart sigh. No wonder it was so easy for them to decide to kill me. The cultivation world is really chaotic. Song Shi sneered. His impression of these people had deteriorated to the extreme. Find a few people to collect their corpses. Yes. Young master, Amitabha. A loud Buddhist proclamation sounded, bringing with it a bright and heavy feeling. Song Shi looked towards the family's door and narrowed his eyes slightly. A solemn-looking young monk appeared. This person looked about the same age as him and was very handsome. He gave off a very clean and refreshing feeling. The monk was wearing a yellow monk robe and had a unique and holy temperament, as if he was the reincarnation of a Buddha. The person held a string of prayer beads and looked at Sanchi with a smile. In Zhenyuan of Jinyuan Temple, both of you seem to have good intentions and possess wisdom. Are you interested in joining Buddhism? Sanchi's face twitched. This was the first time a monkey met had asked him to become a monk. He could not help but joke around. I'm not interested. I haven't slept enough with women. 